Let's now take a look at aspects from the cash flow statement. This question, featuring a business called Eagle Limited, and requirements from here, focusing on 2.2.2, we're going to do the tax paid note, how much money was used to repurchase shares, and then the net change in cash and cash equivalents. So first up, the income tax paid for the year. As always, you'd need three aspects to this calculation. Number one, tax at beginning of year, 2021, SARS income tax, 21,300, and this is where you slow down a bit because that's a debit balance, so that's number one. Number two is our income tax for the year. Here it is in your income statement. And number three is your tax balance at end of year. Now let's take a look at how we're going to answer this. So I've taken the liberty to write these details down before we started. So your income tax balance at beginning of period is 21300 We're not owing the receiver money. That money is owed to us. So we pop that into brackets. Then the amount from the income statement. The amount from the income statement, as we have picked and called it number two, right there, 389300 And we're going off to our answer, 389300 And then the closing balance, which we've picked off the balance sheet for the current year, is 14400 that we're owing to SARS. And that figure goes in brackets. Now, if you were to take these three amounts and crunch them, you'll arrive at an answer of 353,600. And that would be your total for tax paid for the year. Secondly, we now are asked to work out how much money was spent in repurchasing the shares that had been in the hands of the shareholders. So let's take a look at what we need to do. We need to know what's the share prices like and so we look at shares share capital we've got share capital for this year 11 million nine hundred and sixty eight thousand rands we go further down not much by share capital but we do know we've had one million one hundred and eighty thousand in issue at beginning of year a further issue of three hundred thousand not interested in that one but number of shares repurchased on first january at one rand forty above the average share price, 120,000 units were bought back from the hands of the shareholders. And at year end, we finish up with shares to the value of 1 million, sorry, uh, shares, uh, 1 million 360,000 in the hands of shareholders. So if we're looking at the amounts of monies that were used to repurchase the shares, here we are. And now let's go back. We take the units of shares in the hands of shareholders at year end. That'll be 1,360,000. And then we look at what is the share capital value at year end? That's that, 11,968,000. So we go 11,968,000. And we take those two figures and we go 11,968,000 divided by 1,360,000 and we arrive at 8 rands 80 per share. But we are also told in the question that these shares were bought back at 1 rand 40 above share price. You have it, 1 rand 40 above share price. So all we do is we add 1 rand 40 to the share price. 880 plus 140 is going to give us an amount of 10 rands and 20 cents. And so onward to our answers, 120,000 shares bought back at 10 rand 20 per share gives us the princely sum of 1,224,000 rands. Moving on, net changes in cash and cash equivalents. So we got to be looking at bank and petty cash and bank overdrafts, if any. So here goes, we're going to last year because that's where the story starts. No money in the bank last year, and 133,000 overdraft with 8,000 in petty cash. So opening cash balance, 8,000 in petty cash minus 133,000, which is our overdraft. 
and we bring all of those together, we are arriving at 125,000 rands negative. So the overdraft was 133 and we had 8,000 sitting in our petty cash box and we end up, or our cash float, we're ending up with 125,000 rands. Let's now look for our closing cash balance. Closing cash balance, checking the bank overdraft has disappeared, zero. We're looking for money in the bank. We do have 36,700 and we do have petty cash of 8,000. Together, those two have given us 44,700. And so closing cash balance, 44,700. And so we're looking for our changes in cash. We had a negative 125,000 and we ended up remarkably with a positive 44,700. We must have generated 169,700. If you're like wondering why is that minus 125 and plus 44 giving you some strange number, here's the thinking. Here's zero on the timeline, right? And here we sit at minus 125. 25,000 and there we sit at year end at 44,700. So we firstly had to generate 125,000 and then we came to zero and then we generated a further 44,700 and we arrived at 44,700. So in essence we've had to make 169,700 in cash for us to arrive at where we were. I trust that you found this segment of work useful and our aspects that we covered here is income tax paid, funds used to repurchase shares and then net changes in cash and cash equivalents. Thank you.